Now in this next part then, we're told that the mass of the framework is m. And this is going to be centered on this axis of symmetry at two and a half centimeters up from BC. It's where we found the center of mass in the previous part. And we're also told then that we have a mass m attached to this edge BC. And when this triangle is suspended from B, what angle does the edge BC make with the vertical? Well, I'll do an animation in a moment and show you how this works. But essentially, you don't have to obviously draw what I'm going to do in a moment. But just to give you an idea of what happens, we should always be familiar with the fact that when you suspend a particle, the center of mass always aligns itself directly below the point of suspension. Now the center of mass is now going to be shifted because of the addition of this other mass m here. It's going to be now in between these two values, okay, between these two masses, because they're equal, equal in size. So that center of mass is going to be there, okay, at that point there. And that means that if I was to draw a line from here to the midpoint between these two values, the angle that we're after is this angle here, theta. So when released, what happens is that the triangle moves down to a position like this. It just comes to rest hanging from B like this, okay? And if we draw a line from B straight the way down, it should come to, say, the midpoint. It's just slightly out, but I uh, hope you get the idea. It comes to the midpoint between these two points here, where the center of mass here would be. And this is the angle theta then that we're after, the angle that BC makes with the downward vertical. So as I say, you don't really need to draw this in, but uh, just to appreciate what's happening, we need this angle theta. And to get this angle theta, all we need to do is basic trigonometry of this right angle triangle here. Let me just draw that triangle again for you, just over here. It's going to look something like this, okay? Maybe a bit bigger here than what it is over there, but this is our angle theta. This distance up here is going to be half of the two and a half, which is going to be 1.25 centimeters. And we know this distance from B to this mass M here is going to be half of the 12, six centimeters. So it's just a case of using the tan of the angle theta. Tan theta equals the opposite, 1.25 divided by the adjacent six. So if you work that out, you find that this comes to five over 24. So tan theta equals five twenty-fourths or whatever the equivalent decimal is. To get theta, just inverse tan that value of five over 24. And you should find that you get 11.7682 and so on degrees. And if we round that to say one decimal place, it's going to be 11.8 degrees to one decimal place, one dp. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then of these kind of hanging problems.